Good morning. It's coffee talk. 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 Good morning. We're talking about willpower. There's so many things I want to talk about. There's so many things I want to put out here, but I know that we'll get very, um, what's the word? It'll We'll get lost in the weeds. So I'm really going to try to keep this very focused. Um, a lot of the work that we're talking about this week is um, inspired by Kelly McGonigal. I think her name is McGonigal. Uh, she did the science of habits. She's done the willpower instinct. She's done a lot of this work that I'm inspired by. So that's what we're coming to. But before we get into it, I want to just have one little ponder with you. You know, what is willpower to you? What do you even think it is? What do you define it as? What is willpower? Sometimes we think people with willpower are like, you know, better than we are. They're farther down the evolutionary path than we are. We have all these sorts of impressions of you have a lot of willpower. You're lazy. You know, you're so self-disciplined. You are so um, whatever. So just notice what is willpower to you? How do you feel about willpower? How do you judge it? How do you sit in your own spin about willpower? So that would be the first thing I want you to ponder. The second thing I want you to ponder is this idea that when we are trying to exert too much willpower, right? We're trying to lose weight. We're trying to, you know, make sure we get 10,000 steps. We're trying to make sure that we are, you know, getting up early and meditating. We've got all these things that we're trying to make ourselves do, right? To be the righteous person. Our willpower is like a muscle. It will get tired. So eat Kelly McGonigal or whatever her last name is. And I'm sorry, I don't know it. Um, it's like a bicep. It's like any muscle, it gets fatigued if you're overusing it. So if you're trying to will yourself in many aspects of your life, you're going to get tired. So what we talk about this week is pick something, practice this, practice doing this and mastering it. Just like in a triangle pose, you're going to master first level before you go to the second level, right? Master learning how to focus the reins of your mind and then add a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Don't overwhelm yourself with trying to eat the whole uh, veggie burger or whatever right off the bat, okay? So one of the things about willpower is that we are looking to use the part of our brain where we can bring something in that we are wanting, okay? Bring something in that we are wanting. So maybe it is to sit and meditate every morning. Maybe it is to walk the dog and not just let the dog in the yard. Maybe it is to bring more intimacy into your marriage. Maybe it is to go look for that next job. Or forgive someone, forgive yourself, like whatever, okay? That want, right? That want is what you're pulling in. That's what you're wanting to will yourself to. So once you know what it is that your focus is this week, my challenge for you is what do you got to do to get it done? Right? What do you got to get it? So if I want to meditate every morning, I got to set my alarm. I got to, you know, find a place to sit. Like I got to do the things. So that's basically the habit building, right? And you guys know that, but it doesn't work that way. We have the best intention. We have the best intention of doing that thing, but then we don't do it right? We don't do it or we do it two out of five times or something like that. Why? And this is what we're talking about is this sort of mush brain. So the way I like to look at it is if you have like a hand of cards, right? You have a, a whole spread of poker hand, the poker cards, you can pick this card and that'll be the way that the, the uh, play goes. You could pick this card and that's the way the play goes. Like each card is going to take you down a different path. Each thought that you pick is going to take you down a different path, right? So you want to meditate in the morning, but your part of your habitual brain says, ah, let's sleep a little bit longer, right? That's the card you're picking. That's the thought you're picking. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to sleep a little longer, right? That's exactly what you're going to do. How do you make your mind, how do you make your mind think a different thought if you've always had the same thought? How do you turn it? Well, practice. It takes practice. Practice turning it until it becomes a new habit, right? But I want to meditate and center my breath, but I want to start my day off to a good, uh, a good foot. Whatever it is, choosing a different thought, okay? Now, here's the thing. 
the way you get to do that is you first have to resolve the thought at first. You have to become aware of the old thought in order to turn. Because if you're not aware of the thought, it becomes unconscious, you're already moving in action. So what I'd like you to do today as our habit one challenge is to sit with the craving or the desire to do something different. Like I really want to sleep. Oh, it just, I, I desire 10 more minutes of sleep. I just everything, you know, and really feel that desire, feel that craving for whatever it is, a cigarette, uh, to see your partner, um, to, to, uh, go on a trip that you, you know, can't go on or whatever, sit with it, sit with it, sit with it, and then start to create a, why am I doing this? What's the next thought I want to think that's going to take me down that different path. So sitting with cravings, desire and cravings are very uncomfortable, right? We don't think of it that way, but they're very uncomfortable. It physically feels uncomfortable to crave or yearn or long or desire something, right? Doesn't mean it's bad, but it's uncomfortable. So can you sit with the uncomfortableness today, right? Become really clean with it, feel it, and then do something different, right? Okay, it's a big challenge. Um, another way to say all this is get present, right? Get present, get present with whatever's happening inside of you, ride that storm, and then see where it puts you on the other side. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.